Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love readings. This is going to be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Let's get right into your reading Virgo. Now the cards that are going to represent your partner, the person of your interest is the Empress card. The current obstacle to overcome is the King of Swords and your energy is the Knight of Cups. All right, Virgos. So for some of you guys, I do see that um, we have here the Empress card. So the Empress card does represent a uh, very receptive energy, very loving, nurturing type of energy. For some of you guys, uh, those of you guys that are currently dating or that have a person of interest but are not officially on a serious relationship, I do see progress. Now, the thing here is to keep in mind, stay out of your mind, Virgo. I have this feeling that you're, you have this tendency of overthinking or overanalyzing a situation. Um, and this, it, it, it's even like, like you're not allowing things to flow organically the way they're supposed to because you're very much in your head. And I think that that could be a detriment to how your energy is being received. So I think that it is very important to take a deep breath and to let things happen organically, Virgo. What they're saying here is, you know, don't don't go into la la land. Don't go into fantasy. Don't go into keep your feet on the ground is what they're saying. Now, with the Empress card, this is very receptive energy. Like I said, very loving energy. They see you as a very beautiful person or they see you as a very loving and compassionate individual. But we do have the King of Swords here. So the King of Swords could represent being like over analyzing a situation or being too much in your head. It's kind of like I'm feeling almost like like when you guys are in a situation or around the person of your interest, you kind of come off as like clumsy or perhaps you get tongue tied. Perhaps you get nervous, you get awkwardly nervous. And what they're saying here is that you may be coming off as like you're not interested in them. And I think that it's not that you're not interested in them. I think it has more to do with the fact that you get awkwardly nervous <laughs> or overthinking every single step or even conversation of, of, of the conversations. It's almost like you're planning it. So what they're telling you is you need to let this go. You need to let go of feeling the need to be in control of the situation. You have to be open to the idea of having a normal conversation and letting it flow organically without being too much in your head, Virgo. Um, with the King of Swords, some of you guys may be dealing with an air sign. It could be an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. For others of you, you may be dealing specifically with the Libra, as we do have the Empress card here. But I think that this has more to do with emotions. And I think that, uh, you know, they are definitely interested in you. But again, with the King of Swords, you're coming off as either extremely, like, cold and standoffish or they're perceiving you as like you're not interested in them but what they're saying here is that it could be because you're too much in your head now you do have here the knight of cups so i feel that for most of you guys out there that are watching this video you are connecting with someone that you are emotionally invested in or that you are very interested in and there could be positive progress in this connection now, for those of you guys that are in a long-term committed relationship with the Empress card, again, very receptive energy. I feel that uh, they're very loving, uh, nurturing. Perhaps you've been experiencing them being a little bit more nurturing than usual. Uh, with the King of Swords as an obstacle, it indicates, you know, again, stepping out of being so analytical or taking things uh, to the extreme being in touch or having the need to be in touch with your emotions so this could represent virgo try to be a little bit more romantic try to be a little bit more loving try to you know show your partner that you are present when you're there with them um and, and doing the little things the little things are the what matters most uh with the knight of cups i do see you guys again like i said I do see progress in the sense of communication. I feel that uh, perhaps you guys have been a little bit standoffish. Perhaps you're having uh, a little bit of difficulty uh, communicating how you're feeling. For some of you guys, this could be stress. It could be stress of work. 
it could be like uh, having a very busy type of schedule where you know by the time you get home you're exhausted and you're tired but again spirit is saying you have to nurture the relationship a relationship is like basically like taking care of you know when you are gardening you know you got to not only plant the seed but you know water it nurture it give it love give it time um all of that comes with relationships and i think that that's something very important for you to understand or very important for you to do for the remaining of the month virgo all right let's see what spirit's final message is for you here in regards to this situation spirit what is the direct message for virgo sun moon rising venus for the remaining of july 2020 and you have commitment all right so again we understand that relationships is something that you need to nurture you need to take care of when people you know i i often hear this and i'm sure you've experienced or you've been around someone that has told you you know i grew out of love or i fell out of love with someone um if there is true genuine love there it could never die it just grows and it matures and it's not as exciting as it was in the beginning it's not as passionate or intense because there's different steps uh, you know in regards to love and commitment above all is something that it takes both people to make it work it takes effort on both sides it takes not just commitment in the in the you know in, in in general not just the commitment itself but it also represents promising or giving each other the support to be there for one another um on your good days and on your worst days and perhaps days that are you know so so because of the mundane because of the routine but you have to put effort you you can't just stop trying or stop trying to put effort into keeping the passion alive because like i said it takes both sides um so what spirit is saying here is that again the commitment that you have towards each other is something that you have to continuously keep nurturing now for those of you guys that are currently seeing someone or dealing with someone of interest again get out of your head don't overanalyze. don't overthink everything let things happen organically with the commitment card here, Spirit is telling you there is promise, there is new beginnings, and this may actually turn into a long-term relationship. Don't mess it up by overanalyzing or trying to have control of the situation, okay? I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Like, share, and comment, and we'll see each other soon. Bye.